So it's the morning of our wedding. Today is about celebrating our love, all eight and a half years of it. I know I want to get married to you to celebrate all we have accomplished and also to serve as a milestone, looking forward to what lies ahead. We grew up as many brothers would, roughhousing, playing video games together, and spending time together as a family. There's too many memories with Daniel for me to recount in a three minute speech. One feeling always comes to mind when you think back though, and that's love. I think I'm lucky I ended up with such a selfless and giving person as a brother. Juliana, you really are like my little big sister. What I mean by this is, for some reason, I would always ask you for fashion advice, boy advice. Even though we have an age difference, you always knew what to say. When you two first started dating, everyone would say you were always in your own little world. Everything around you two disappeared, and the same is true today. You really are each other's world. Thank you. Daniel, my gush gush, you have become a very caring, loving, and warm person. We wish you and Juliana a lifetime of love, understanding, communication, happiness, and health. I love you both. Cheers. Salute. We are here for the primary purpose of witnessing vows expressed between two people from love for the purpose of entering into a binding commitment that we call marriage. Juliana and Daniel, don't forget that the love that you're sharing with one another actually transcends the two of you. And it's not just for the two of you, it's a gift to all of us. The two of them decided to write their own vows, which no one's surprised by that. And I think we're mostly here today to hear you guys express those vows to one another. When I proposed to you over three years ago, it was because I knew you were my forever person. I promised to be there for you as long as I'm on this earth. I promised to nurture and support your dreams as long as they make you happy. I promised to treat you as my equal and to be there for you in all of life's trials, as long as we agree to tackle them together. I promise to buy you chocolate when you give me your I want chocolate look. <laughs> as long as I get to have some too. <laughs> and without any qualification, I promise to be your life partner, to love you unconditionally and fervently, knowing that any hurdle thrown our way can be easily overcome because we are there for each other. My Daniel, 
Looking back at all the infinite possible paths I could have taken in this life so far, I'm so glad I have chosen the ones that have led me here, together in this exact moment, to you. I promise to love you unconditionally, to make you feel comforted and strengthened in that love and to remind you of it every single day. I promise to be here, holding your hand, encouraging you every step of the way. I, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the law can now officially pronounce the two of you, husband and wife, Daniel, you may kiss your bride. Can kiss you me. can do it. <laughs> We are blessed to have a daughter like Juliana. She has always been a self-assured person, cutting her own path. She is beautiful inside and out. We hope that Juliana's faith in God, faith in herself, faith in Daniel, and faith in each other as a couple continues to grow and grow stronger with each passing day. My advice for a happy marriage is communication and respect. And remember this day as you venture off to your honeymoon and settle in a life of togetherness with love and gratitude and the importance of family togetherness, traditions and values. I love your contagious joy, your ears that stick out just a little bit. The way you, your brows furrow when you're trying to solve a problem. Oh, and those hazel eyes look so deeply into mine, making me feel like the only girl in the world. I hope to make you feel just as beautiful each and every day, forever and ever and ever. There's so many things I love about our little story. I could go on and on about each of our funny little memories and idiosyncrasies. I miss you since yesterday, boo-boo. Yours forever, Jules.